Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below. It's been a while since we've talked about ARC 2 or anything ARC related. I'm going to start checking up on the ARC website here since uh, it seems to be the only thing you guys are interested in. <laughs> uh, there, you know, It's been a while since we've heard any news on ARC 2, but today we got some new dinosaurs. This is via the Survive the ARC website, survivetheark.com. Uh, the Community Crunch 345, Day in the Life, it says. This was, uh, let's see here, Saturday at about 2 o'clock. It says, another edition of the Community Crunch. Since the announcement of ARC 2, we've watched the community's excitement and anticipation ri rise as we continue to work diligently in the background to define the new survival experience. It sounds like they're trying to figure it out still. Despite anticipating our next showing of ARC 2 to be a gameplay showcase, ooh, that sounds good, we see the hunger and the eagerness for more ARC 2 information. Yeah, you're telling me all the poor uh, ARC YouTubers that are trying to come up with con you know, continuous engaging content are like starved, they're like, crap, maybe we shouldn't have covered ARC, but it's such a fun game, it's, it's uh, you know, we, we want to talk about it. Anyway, and we get it. We've decided to give you a peek behind the curtain and begin showcasing more ARC 2 tidbits regularly as we lead up to the first gameplay trailer. We hope you enjoy these appetizers and we can't wait for you to get your hands on the main course. As always, we love seeing the passion of the ARC community on display and we look forward to getting more information in your hands beginning this week. Oh, okay, cool. So here's some dinosaur, looks like, uh, concept arts for ARC 2. This looks like a, yeah, Stegosaurus. This looks pretty cool. Let's click on it here and get it better. Wow, look at that. I'm really curious, like, are they going to change them up a little bit, or are they just going to increase the you know, the models? I'm curious if they're going to just reuse old assets and just make them look pretty, or if they're going to actually redo it from the ground up. That looks pretty cool. And then the Bronchiosaurus. This looks really awesome too. I like how they picked two like safe dinosaurs to show. Not a T-Rex, not some new like original creature for the game. They they show an old ones, but I like how they're they're getting more scaly. They look a lot cooler. That's awesome. So that's a that's a plus, and a thumb you could take away from this is it looks like they're gonna be more detail oriented in, in the uh, the way they look, you know what I mean? Because they got more powerful hardware and stuff like that. Cool. And then creature submissions. It looks like that ended. What was it yesterday? I want to say. Twenty third. Yeah, that ended yesterday at about one p.m. I'm curious what uh, what creatures are going to bring to Arc One. And then they're talking about Ragnarok coming to Nintendo Switch. Even the picture looks terrible <laughs> graphically. That is a big map. I'm curious how the draw distance is going to look in that. I wonder if they're going to fix this because that castle has been broken for a very long time. If you go down into the catacombs down there with any dinosaurs or items, you'll probably fall through the map and die randomly or your creature will just disappear. I've had multiple dinosaurs disappear because I was going to set up a base there because it's a cool pass uh, castle. So I hope they fix that, because, yeah, it's all glitchy around there. But that is probably, I want to say it's my favorite map, just because there's so many cool little secrets you can find, and uh, bases you can build behind waterfalls and stuff like that. But I don't know, I'm, maybe the the um, Crystal Islands or the, the Fajordor map are my favorite. All right, and then let's see, what else we got going on here? We got, of course, the, the Evo event that they do all the time. Uh, small tribe servers, classic. And then we got some other YouTubers, some awesome artwork. It's amazing how big ARC has become. So hopefully, ARC 2, I know it's going to launch in early access, but hopefully that base early access is, like, polished. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you could beat all the content within five to ten hours. Just make sure it's 
polished because you know they're going to add more to it later. Anyway, so that's the ARC news for this week. Keep an eye on the channel for more. Thanks for watching, and stay frosty.